It is number three in New Zealand from last season. That's Gavin Veltmeyer, the Coleman Suzuki uh, mechanic, and Jacob Stroud, the, the Jacob Stroud, I should say, the eldest son of Andrew Stroud, the nine-time New Zealand Superbike champion. Six laps. Who's your money on, Neil Ritchie? Uh, yeah, look out for uh, Nathaniel Diprose. I've, uh, I've had the privilege of watching him at the other two rounds, uh, Phil, and he is just so dynamic. He can ride a 600, as he's going to prove. He'll be probably around the top five, six or seven in the 600 class, and to put that into place into super lights, he's good enough. He's got a very good bike. He's reliable enough. He's He's a quality rider, he knows how to uh, control a race and he does it all calm and collectively. He's a hard man to uh, get a big interview out at the end of the day because he's uh, so unassuming. So, But he'll do it and you watch the stars. It's out for a lane and it is Dip Rose that gets away well. So too to Dennis Shell. just got into his work a little bit late as they head down into turn one. And in there is Gavin Veltmar. Veltmar will go into second as they go through one and head out onto the long uh, front straight here, or back straight I should say here, under the laser uh, electrical pedestrian bridge and already Dip Rose looks like he's got a pretty good lead. And I'm uh, just keeping an eye on this uh, next start. Won't be too far away as we're watching the uh, lights here. Phil, remembering, of course, we've got our Pro Twins. They'll get a little bit of a break on them, and then we'll uh, see the split. So watch for that. They're well back there, So, but they will be able to see the lights. It's still on a straight, so there's no problem with that as we uh, look out for that. So uh, keen to pick up how they are. Here we are. We're under the light sequence at the moment. Five, four, and the lights are out. So we go. for those uh, 600s, uh, sorry, 650 twins as they dominate the landscape in there. Jordan Burley, in fact, he was just pipped through there at the moment and uh, just keen to pick up as to whether that was uh, Jace, Aug Jace Augustine uh, through there or who the other one what may have been. So, I think uh, Ben Rosendale got a pretty good start, start there as yeah, well, yes, so we'll one. keep an eye on him. He's done a fair few laps around uh, Hampton Downs, has uh, been. As we just look to pick up the leaders here on our uh, camera positions, just heading out of the high pool hairpin and heading up into the Porsche Dipper. And it is Nathaniel Diprose by the look of it. Good little battle going on for second and third because they've shuffled uh, Gavin Veltmeyer back into fourth place now as they head down into uh, the big sweeper at the bottom end of the circuit, the Pirelli sweeper. Remember, two races in one. It's going to be a bit difficult keeping a track on everyone else, but uh, a pretty healthy lead for, um, it looks like from here, it's Diprose. We'll have a good look as he comes up over the top. I think it is. It looked like a Suzuki to me. Uh, we will see very, very shortly. Over the top of the hill he comes. As we look to Jacob Stroud, I think he's just trying to squeeze up and go through on the inside. Yeah, so no, Dennis Charlotte, so Dennis had the advantage. He just uh, overtook at that point, but I think we can see that when, they, uh, when you watch him again on the next camera shot, it will be surprised to challenge Jacob on the uh, Kramer. That's the one that's managed to make the move and go through into that uh, second place. Yeah, fight think, going on there. I think you're absolutely right, Neil. And Dennis Charlotte was glued to the back wheel of Jacob Stroud, so he moves up one. But uh, Nathaniel Dipro is well in control of this. Let's have a look as the Pro Twins gets it. And Gavin Veltmeyer into the pits and out of this one. Oh. Oh. into the garage so that's terrible news for uh, Gavin Home, home track, home advantage here, uh, penultimate round as well. Uh, one of those uh, front runners. Uh, well, so that's a serious setback for him. Uh, there goes this one. Here we go. Uh, into that in fact, it was Jordan Burley. Jordan Burley got the good start. Liam Underwood in there as well. So that uh, Liam will go through as we uh, check out uh, Ben Rosendale from uh, Nick Kane. Nick Kane, the uh, good performance from him. Josh Augustine, who's back in that front post game. The super sidecar swinger Kendall Dunlop in there along with uh, Sam Davidson, the Christchurch man, head of Alex uh, Butson. So those uh, pro twins, what a swarm they were. Already the, the super light class, Phil, had just uh, spread out other than that battle between Dennis and Jacob. The rest of them had uh, strung it out. No, uh, Gav Veltmeyer in there. That's taken the class off that one. But look at this pro twin battle. They're all over each other. Yeah, well, that's what we've come to expect, haven't we, with this uh, pro twin class. It's always been uh, pretty hectic, pretty competitive, and that's what we're seeing at the moment. Something not so competitive is the, uh, the battle in the front here with Nathan. Daniel Diprose because he has just uh, taken this race and shaken it because he is well in front as he works his way down uh, toward the bottom end of the circuit once again. Let's see if we can uh, get it on the uh, percentage. 3.3 seconds already over there. So and uh, Richard Mark of uh, Barry, the next one through. Scott Finley in there as well. So these guys have cleared out just a little bit here as we uh, try and find the uh, leaders in the, uh, the Pro Twin side of things. We're about a half a lap behind. We just bear with us. We can get through the cameras here. It's a bit interesting to uh, commentate here at the uh, Hampton Downs when there's two, uh, two races going on with one and we're only uh, sort of using these uh, trackside cameras. All right, we're going to catch that next group, and that's exactly what it is, a very good group of riders because Pro Twins are very close together. They had that good, I think that was the right thing.
Josh Augustine, Matt Dunlop. So the same good news, but a slightly readjusted position. And absolutely as good as John Burley. Good points lead in the series. Ben Rose, no leash is it, Phil. We know how good he is, but it's young Liam Underwood, the man from Auckland. How good is that from Liam? Great performance. And here's the difference going to your own track, of course. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we know this is a brand new track. Remembering as well, uh, Phil, every lap record this weekend is going to be a brand new exactly lap record. Right. So First time we, on the international yeah, circuit. circuit. Yeah, so, uh, so this is going to be a great feature as well. So we'll have something to talk about for years to come about uh, who set a lap record and what year and when it was. So uh, nice to watch. And uh, Phil's got a, a panoramic here and looking out for them. But uh, uh, this one, Nathan Dipros, in fact, uh, you talked before who I thought would have uh, won. In fact, even if the TAB were running odds, he was going to be about $1.5 anyway. Yeah. Well, he's opened up that gap a little bit now over Dennis Charlotte. It's 3.9 seconds now. Yeah. Jacob Stroud's still in third place. Then there's a bit of a gap two races in one now. That should be Chris Aston. Battle for the minors might be a good one there between uh, Scott Finley and uh, Richard Mark and Barry. That's a battle for fifth and sixth. Now, with the uh, courtesy of our fan, uh, new fantastic split timing, so on a circuit you normally get a lap by lap, but of course we can break it down here into uh, sections as well. And what we've seen already is that Nathaniel Dipros was fastest through every second, so that's why you've got a 3.9 second buff because at every point on the track you are the number one, so uh, stealing the show here today for absolutely right. Wait for this warm again. We're looking for this fantastic Starting to set the pace. The tall man from Hamilton looking good. It might be a ninth overall in the race. That means uh, absolutely zero. First in class for our exciting uh, pro twin lineup. And remembering with these pro twins, Jordan Burley, a 24 point lead over Nick Kane as the uh, South Islander comes north and all of a sudden finds himself back in about uh, fourth or fifth place. Here. So he hasn't got the advantage. Sam Davis, he's got the Jim Clemen, of course, and uh, down south missing in this field so it really has opened it up to the others in that pro twin making a more exciting race even though they've started in that second group and the other one to make comparisons to as well here phil of course is the, the times between the best of the super lights and the time of the pro twins and of course part of the reason they race together is uh, both classes with uh, lesser number of entries so they can look good on the track at any one time but their times are actually often quite Uh, but uh, you mentioned it before, just looking at the segment times, it looks like that um, Rosendale's on a bit of a chance, but Burley is clearly the quickest in the pro trends. 146.3, as I said, pays 146.9, and in, uh, in, in fact, Ben Rosendale makes a liar of me because that last one was a 146.5, so he's uh, the second quickest of the pro twins, but it doesn't matter because track position uh, gives it to Jordan Burley, and he is the points leader. All right, so Nathaniel Dipros, Dennis Charlotte, and Jacob Strad, they steal the show at the front end of our uh, field at the moment with... Uh, here we go for our other battle and uh, keen to look out for that uh, next point race going on before I'll be proved wrong. In fact, if anything, Liam Underwood's a champion. Ben, of course, is a former champion in this uh, class. The man from uh, uh, Whangamata, of course, home of the uh, beach hop in about uh, three weeks' time, so you wouldn't get in or out of Whangamata that weekend, so be pleased that this racing on this weekend that he could at least get out of the place. What a traffic jam that becomes over that event. So uh, there is. The fastest of the pro twins, and that's why himself and Burley. So we could see some racing in this one. Okay. Uh, they've got four in the book. It's scheduled to go over six, so it was more to come. And uh, it is, I reckon, the man on the move is um, Liam Underwood. We'll watch that as uh, Burley uh, leads the pro twins. Still he's just cleared off, and he's just. We mentioned the times, not that different, but when you see it in the actual flesh, I mean, that that uh, that uh, bike of uh, Jacob Strauss just really hauling them up. Nathaniel Dipro is now out to 
seven seconds. He went from 5.1 to 7 seconds. Almost two seconds he made up in that last lap alone. Incredible. Nathaniel Dipros, Dennis Charlotte from Jacob Strauss, Chris Huddleston, Scott Finlay and Richard uh, Markham uh, take the uh, next ones. But then, in fact, of course, it's this uh, pro twin battle that we're looking out for. And exciting to see behind uh, Richard as we uh, look for the update for that result overall. And uh, will it be Jordan? Will it be Liam? We, how's Ben doing in there? And as uh, Phil has called, watch out for the number 85 of Liam Underwood, the Auckland man uh, yeah, making did, a pounce. He just looked to be going a little bit quicker than the last time. The lap time's going to be the gaps too. And it is still barely in front. Underwood through in second. Then it is Rosendale. And there's a bit of a gap back to Nick Cable and Whitney Carlson. Next one comes from the game as well. Josh Augustine. And great little scrap going on there between Nick Ols uh, Nigel Lennox and Matt Dunlop uh, for the Miners. But uh, heading his way to the chequered flag, completely unche unchallenged from the time the lights went out. And the flag is being ready here for Auckland's uh, Nate Dipros. Yeah, just an amazing pilot. And uh, just uh, loving what he's achieved in a quite unassuming way. And a very capable rider indeed. Courtesy of Pirelli, AGV, RST, EBC, Auckland, Motorcycle, TT, Coleman Suzuki and RCM Performance, Nathaniel Dipros, an outstanding performance. And here we go, there's the checkered flag and there's the man to do it. And under these great skies. And three o'clock, the scheduled time for the uh, FMX uh, fill in with that wind blowing. Officially, it's just that, in fact, if anything, the wind, I feel, has come up so well. Don't expect to see any of the FMX and X can only pray. I, I didn't even see this weather coming from. I thought it was a great forecast for the day. So, as we can see, the world's best stars out there. But anyway, that's the bad news. The good news is, uh, great race on the track. In the winter, Nathaniel, second, and Dennis, and third, Jacob. That hasn't uh, changed looking out. Though for this uh, buzz for our uh, uh, pro yeah, twin let's see what class, the pro and uh, not that far away, I wouldn't yeah, think. Jordan, uh, Jordan, and that should be the next one to come through. Actually, Jordan, Liam, and Ben. That's why you're seeing a bit of a gap at the moment. It's not because they're slower. Remember, it's that split start. We go right back to the fact that they were in that second group to uh, start together, and we're going to look for it. Look for J Jordan Burley. He's got the bright uh, coloured bike, and then go to uh, maybe Liam, maybe uh, Ben. Here's the bike. Now, there's the bike. in the program is being on the uh, Yamaha MT-07 and uh, it, it didn't look like it was the confident bike to me and I'll be uh, keen just to see whether it he has made a different bike courtesy of Roland, 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 Roland